Now, our next guests are established Irish authors in their own right, uh, and they're constantly asked, what is it about Ireland that means that we produce so many prolific authors? So, they did what everyone else did in 2022. They started a podcast <laughs> to answer that very question. Author Sinead Moriarty and Anna McPartland join us now to tell us, so what is in the water, lads? What is it? And I'll go to you first. I mean, there isn't one, there isn't two. I, off the top of my head, I can mention 20 amazing Irish female writers and mm. that's what this podcast is about basically. Exactly, that yeah. is exactly what it's about. It's about looking at the inspiration for Irish women and looking at it through the lens of Irish culture. What is it that inspires us? And more so, what is it about us that we end up going global? So when, because it's really funny, like when I'm in France or Germany, that's what they go, they go, uh, Anna, what is in the water in Ireland that there's so many women that read so many books? And I'm like, I don't know. And they go everywhere. Like you don't see a lot of French authors cr cross over here or German or, you know what I mean? It's there's something about us and we are, we're investigating it. You're investigating because your books, both your books have been translated. You, to how many different languages? I think, you? I'm, I think I'm running at about 1920 now. Sinead, you yeah. are? Yeah, so similar, yeah. 20-something yeah. yeah. as well. It, it's yeah. absolutely nuts. And it's not just Europe, it's worldwide. Mm, yeah. But you started, both of you started in, in, in writing, writing your own, uh, your own novels. Uh, tell us your journey, Sinead. Yeah, I mean, we, you know, we, we both started, I think, around the same time, actually. And... Um, you know, I started writing in my spare time. I was working as a journalist, writing about marketing, and I was going insane. I thought I was going to die of boredom. So I started writing creatively. Um, my first two books failed miserably to get published, but the third one did. And I've been doing it now for 20 years. Um, the current book I have out is called About, about Us, and it's about three couples and sex therapy, in couples therapy. And it's, um, it's funny, but it's also got, you know, quite a lot of um, pathos. But I think that's the thing about Irish writers. We, have, we write about universal themes, yeah. and we're very good on family. Yeah. And family is universal. Do you know what I mean? Somebody in Chile can relate to family story and so when Anna and I got together we decided that we wanted to provide a platform where we could celebrate the wealth of talent in this country uh -huh. and so we applied to the Arts Council for a grant and so they have funded us for 10 episodes and so we are celebrating the the talent of Irish female writers and honestly we could do a hundred and so we're actually looking for sponsorship at the moment to do more because we have so many more amazing writers to interview and the podcast is brilliant because of our guests. Mm. Well isn't that it as well like it well, first of all, focus on your own uh, relationship and your own friendship, Anna, because you two are pals. But then there is a community, and isn't that part as well of what's in the water in Ireland? It's exactly what it is. And I, I mean, I worked in corporate land for about 10 years before I became a writer. And it's very isolating. You go from going to an office and, uh -huh. hey, what's the story? Blah, 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 to, oh, God, I'm on my own and I don't know what to do. And then you meet these other women and you're just embraced. Yeah. And everybody helps everybody. And you know, it's that old kind of thing that all oh, women are bitchy and they hate if, if another woman succeeds and all that. There's none of that. That's, there's it's not a thing. in writing because you've the likes of Marion Keys, Patricia mm. Scanlon, yes. so generous with their time yes. and their yes. advice. And that's Kathy what's Kelly. absolutely... Kathy that, Kelly, yeah. It's such a beautiful community because you see oh. on social media, you have yeah. meetups and everything. Yeah. It's just fantastic. Yeah. But it's more, it's like even just supporting somebody on Twitter if somebody's trying. It's yeah. really hard to sell a book, lads. Like, you really... <laughs> yeah. like the need You need to sell really, an awful lot of them to make a few yeah. quid as well. Yeah. And, and and yeah. also, you're pushing your own work, and it's embarrassing. Yeah. And you don't. You're like, oh, please buy my book, and it's all. Yeah, is there that kind of Irish that conflict? There is a kind of a conflict Massive. there, I suppose, between the Irish sort of, oh, Jesus, keep the head down, yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't make sure yourself. Notions, yeah. Yeah. notions, yeah, yeah. notions yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. God, God forbid you have any notions, but that's the beauty of the community. We so do that's really why we push each other. Each other. Yeah. And um, yeah, I, th I think, you know, because we've been doing this for a long time, we, I, hope the, I hope that we're paying it forward. And the podcast, like What's in the Water, that is our way of paying it forward as mm. well, I think, you know, because we're interviewing lots of writers from and, uh, Irish writers or, peop or people who are living in Ireland and writing in Ireland. Uh -huh. So and, is it yeah. just a matter then of just flicking through the roller decks? Yeah, there's, there's, yeah. The there's, there's so many. There's so yeah. many. And we're doing everything from crime to popular fiction to literary writers. We're, we're doing the whole... And the subjects are anything from yeah. <laughs> our dark past to menopause. Mm, that was a goodie. <laughs> Friendship, <laughs> um, you know... Um, Sex. Missing Women of Ireland. Grief. We're covering all... Yeah. Grief, wow. religion. Religion. Fantastic one on religion. Are any of the, the stories, the anecdotes you've had from any of the particular writers, what, what sticks out in your mind, Anna? 
Oh, Jesus, there's so many. Bear in mind, it's breakfast television. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can see her. I can see her. <laughs> Well, you know the ones that stick yeah, in my yeah. mind are always the filth, so well, go I to Sinead. <laughs> a really striking one, actually, I think it was our, our first episode of the crime one with Liz Nugent and Jane Casey, two fantastic crime writers. I love their books. I know, right? And they were talking about the Malcolm MacArthur case, which happened obviously a long time ago, but they actually, he is released from prison now, and they met him at a crime festival and uh, they, he was sort of looking to go for a drink with them. So that was phenomenal to actually meet well, a murderer. Well, I don't know if he was looking to go for a well, drink no, with them, but it was like... They were, he, he was basically hovering. what really? happened was he basically said Jane didn't recognise him. And he said, you know, have you ever met a real-life murderer? And she said, well, I'm a, my husband's a barrister and I work and I talked, and, but no. And he said, well, you have now. Yeah. And, mm. and Liz was like, she recognised him and she said, you're Malcolm MacArthur. And he said he was so delighted that yeah, he, he had really been recognised by wow. her. And he was disgusted disgusted apparently because some people think he's like Shawnee Fitz and she went <laughs> oh and yeah the, obviously she went but you're a murderer like don't be like, yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah but it was it, it's really fascinating yeah. and there's so many great stories brilliant yeah. stories uh, at the one <laughs> on divorce and you make the because Irish culture Irish people yeah. we've, we changed very little over the years mm -hmm. in what we like and what we're outraged by mm. but a good affair always gets <laughs> us going a bit of sex will always get us going I mean you compare uh, Glen Road the Ferrari about that and Fidelma uh, to, to, to normal people and this Ferrari that caused I know yeah. it, it, it is amazing yeah I know when you think of the Joe Duffy show I always think that that's, that's how you measure the, the barometer the of the, country. Country. <laughs> yeah. the, the Joe Duffy show Joe. but again the menopause the Joe Duffy show that that was transformative for this country, yeah. I think. So, you know, there's lots of different things. And we have a... Claudia Carroll tells an amazing story about Clelia Murphy. Oh. When, her, when Claudia's dad died, Clelia was on The Late Late Show promoting Dancing with the Stars, all dressed up, as she says herself, like a, like a drag queen. And Claudia sent her a text and she just got up, left The Late Late Show, walked Claudia. down to the morgue in Vincent's to support her friend. Literally walked just, out you know, of The Late Late Show during a live show and sat in that mortuary with her best pal. Yeah. So these, these are some of the amazing stories that are coming out in, yeah. in What's in the Water. So, you know, I think people will, will enjoy it. I Sheila Flanagan has spoken very honestly as well on the podcast as well, hasn't she? It was, she, yeah. it was really funny, actually, yeah. because uh, Sheila went into menopause like in her late 30s and she nobody spoke about it. So she wasn't quite sure what was going on. And she was working in a re like she had a big job, corporate job, yeah. like, no mess. And, and she was wondering why she was kind of struggling and feeling terrible. And it was funny because when we started talking about it initially, she said, yeah, I had, I think I was OK most of the time. And I think the, the symptoms went after yeah. a couple of years. And during the podcast, she was like, that happens to me, that happens to me. And things that she thought were her personality yeah. traits were actually <laughs> yeah. in a box. It was actually her whole yeah. face the whole way through. She was, was like, Hang oh on my minute. God. Yeah. Uh, do you think that it's easier then to have a conversation with you two, given your dynamics and the fact that you've got similar backgrounds and you've got relationships already, that it's easier to open up to the, the two of you on the podcast? Maybe so. We, we try and create a very kind of warm, safe environment. Uh -huh. and I, but I think also... Irish writers, they're, they're so diverse, they're from such different backgrounds and they have such different experiences. They're just fascinating people. And I think writers are, ver are very kind of, you know, we're observers by nature. So when we sit down and talk, I think we have quite interesting things to say. And as I say, the guests are what makes this podcast. Yeah, and can I give you a Fabulous. tip? Never say anything in front of a writer that you don't expect. <laughs> Correct. That's happened to me more yeah. than once, let me tell you over the years. <laughs> Listen, uh, girl, thank you so much for joining us on the show today and best What's luck. in the water? So, this is our merchandise. <laughs> 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 more than water than that I'd say anyway <laughs>